गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स माई नेम इज विजय गुप्ता एंड यू आर वॉचिंग बायोलॉजी क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर ऑफ बायोलॉजी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक द बायोनॉमियल नॉमन क्लेचर एज वी ऑल नो दैट करेंटली आई एम मेकिंग माई ऑल वीडियोज फॉर द एलेवेंथ स्टूडेंट्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ योर बुक एन सी आर टी एलेवेंथ बायोलॉजी सो इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज द लिविंग वर्ड दैर इज अ टॉपिक दैट इज बायोनॉमियल नॉमन क्लेचर it's a very important topic for your examination as well as for your entrance examination also so i am going to start the topic in this video binomial nomenclature so first of all what is the mean of binomial there is a there are two terms bi that represents two nomial means name means there are two names there are two names in this type of nomenclature suppose that uh, the real name of sorry the scientific name of mango is mangifera indica and as you can see mangifera indica there are two names mangifera is the name of genus the first name which is mangifera which is a genus and the second name of is indica that is the name of a species means the nomenclature system which consists of two names the first one is genus and the second one is a species is known as no sorry binomial nomenclature so first of all i would like to tell you about the definition of the binomial nomenclature as you can see on the board the system of nomenclature in which two terms are used if there are two terms are used in the nomenclature the system of nomenclature in which two terms are used to denote a species of living organism as we know that there uh, in this world there are a lot of living species like plants animals microorganisms lots of living species as i have described in my previous videos about the livings and non living so there are a lot of variety lot of species so each species each animal have a specific name that is the scientific name and each scientific name consists of two names in which the first one is genus and the second one is a species so in this definition the system of nomenclature in which two terms are used there are two terms are used to denote a species of living organism the first one indicating the genus as i told you before the first one indicating the genus and the second one is species and the second one indicates the species suppose that for another example that is panthera tigris the scientific name of tiger in which panthera is the genus while the tiger is is the species like pisum sativum the botanical name of pea so in this name pisum is the genus while the sativum is the species so all the scientific name consist of two names the first one denote the genus while the second denote the species now who gave this system so i want to tell you about a very important name of a scientist that is carolus linnaeus who firstly introduced binomial nomenclature in his book systema naturae so it was introduced by carolus linnaeus also known as carl von linne carl von linne he published a book which was systema naturae in 1758 in this book he described he introduced about the binomial nomenclature now you'll be very surprised to know about a fact that after the publishing of systema naturae after the publishing of binomial nomenclature carolus linnaeus changed his name he was carl von linne before the binomial nomenclature but after this he changed his name carolus linnaeus means according to him that every organism each organism have two names in his name so carolus linnaeus also changed his name it was the dedication about his work so it was the fact about carolus linnaeus now he was the scientist who introduced the binomial nomenclature now after that i would like to tell you about the rules there are some rules to write a scientific name according to the binomial nomenclature and these rules are proposed by there are two names two important names for you iczn and icbn what it stand for international code for zoological nomenclature and international 
code for botanical nomenclature i repeat both the names are very important and many times the question is asked in your examination what is the full form of iczn and what is the full form of icbn so i repeat the names learn properly international code for zoological nomenclature and international code for botanical nom nomenclature there are some rules which are proposed by iczn and icbn to write a scientific name according to the binomial nomenclature so what is the first rule the first rule is that the scientific name is always written in latin language so why it in latin language because latin is the language which is dead means there is no updation in this language everything is same so the latin language is used to write the scientific name the next one is genus start with a capital letter as you can see in this example that the name scientific name of mango mangifera indica the first name that is the genus always start with a capital letter which is m so any scientific name the genus always start with a capital letter suppose that i am writing another name like pisum sativum it is the scientific name of p so in this name you can see pisum sativum pisum is the genus while the sativum is the species so the first letter of pisum or genus is always capital so the first uh, so the second rule is the genus start with a capital letter now the species start with a small letter as you can see in this example the species is indica indica is the species of mango so it is always a start with a small letter and in this example sativum is the species so sativum the sativum start with a small s so the species always written in the small letters while the genus is in capital letters next one is when the names are handwritten if you are writing the scientific name on your notebook by your hand means it is if it is handwritten then they are underlined so it is very important to underline both the names separately that is mangifera indica so when the names are handwritten they are underlined it is must or italics if typed but if you are typing somewhere like on computer or mobile phones then it is must uh, write in the italic fonts so the third rule is if the names are handwritten then they are underlined and if they are typed then they must be in italic font now the next is the first word identifies the genus as i have told you before that the first indicating genus and the second is species so the first word identifies the genus and the second the species the first word that is mangifera or the pisum both indicates the genus while the second name indica or the sativum that shows the species so there are two names mangifera indica pisum sativum both are collectively known as the scientific name according to binomial nomenclature now i would like to tell you some other important examples of your book suppose that the scientific name of honey bee that is apis indica in this name as you can see apis indica apis is the genus while the indica is the species musca domestica musca domestica again an important example of your book musca domestica it is the scientific name of house fly and musca is the genus while the domestica is the species next is panthera leo it is a scientific name of lion as you can see panthera is the genus while leo is the species so pisum sativum apis indica musca domestica panthera leo another example bos indicus it is a scientific name of cow all these examples are showing that there are two names the first one represent the genus while the second represent the species in this name pisum is genus and the sativum is species apis genus indica species musca genus species domestica panthera genus leo species bos genus and indicus species so it was all about the binomial nomenclature with the examples i hope uh, it is very 
clear to all of you so in this video it was enough in next video i'll again tell you an important topic of this chapter thanks for watching have a good day